Hi, welcome to the Supernatural Further Exploration. Okay, I've been through and done the Major Arcana. Now we've been through and done these cards. We've looked at all the characters of these cards. I've been through and I've had a look and I've had a read and I've had a moment of contemplation. Now it's taken me quite a while to sort of get through these cards and that's okay. It hasn't been a rush journey. It's about getting to know the characters um, again from just watching the 15 seasons but also from just from a perspective just taking my time really getting to know each of these cards so we've got the last few of the major arcana to do now it seems like I've sort of been breaking them up I've just been taking my time but that's what it's about this is not a rushed journey it doesn't have to be done in five minutes this is something that can just take your time and enjoy the, that connection so let's have a look and see who we who we've got left so we've got the moon we've got the sun okay and we've got judgment and we've got the world so let's have a look who who are they in the book so let's start with the moon now the moon is gabrielle the ultimate trickster a master of illusion the moon represents deception hidden agendas and the idea is that nothing is ever what it seems the moon indicates there's more going on than meets the eye. Things aren't what they seem to be at first glance. So stay vigilant and analyze situations carefully to figure out what's really going on. The moon tarot card suggests you can trust your intuition and investigate any hunches or gut feelings you may have. Now for the moon, for me, it's also about cycles, the phases of cycles. Okay, maybe about facing your enemy, facing, um, you know, maybe you're your own worst enemy in this case. So it's just some things to think about with the moon. Okay, the sun. Dean refers to Charlie Bradbury as the little sister I never wanted. Her playful bond with the Winchester brother makes her the perfect match for the sun tarot card, which represents happiness, positivity, and success. The sun tarot card is a sign of positive things to come and a reminder to stop and enjoy the little things in life. Use proud self-proclaimed nerd Charlie and inspiration to embrace whatever makes you happy now for me the sun card also talks about things being exposed brought into life it's a new day it's a new beginning in some way so yeah so let's look at judgment judgment is okay this is archangel michael so the tarot card judgment is all about reckoning and atonement the archangel michael wishes to bring an end to humanity's time on earth throughout the apocalypse but ultimately finds his own awakening when Castiel forces him to confront the truth of God's nature. So the message of the judgment tarot card is loud and clear. What you reap, you sow. The time to sow is now. As one cycle begins to come to an end, balance intuition with logic to make decisions and, some, and take time to really think through any and all possible repercussions of your actions to avoid regrets later. Now, for me, judgment card can also be about resurrection, awakening. A sense of acting with discernment in situations. This is sort of a reminder to sometimes we don't need to be so judgy about situations. There could be times when we actually need to um, don't be so harsh or so critical within self as well. So interesting card here. Maybe we need to blow our own trumpet, so to speak. Okay, the world card here. The world represents beginnings, endings, and things coming full circle. For the Winchesters, their world is defined by the open road, the setting for their many adventures and the path that carries them to their destiny. As you can see, the car here. Now, the car, of course, if you've seen the series, you know what the car is all about. Okay, there's a cyclical element to the world tarot card. Whether you've just finished a major chapter in your life or you're revving up your engines and heading out on the next big adventure, big adventure remember that life is never stagnant enjoy the ride yes it's definitely about cycles it's definitely about moving through um, maybe over a threshold through doorways um, a sense of achievement maybe you've been successful but don't forget now you're starting again you're starting fresh on the situation so that for me is what those last four cards in the major arcana that we've gone through so don't forget to re-watch the um see the series i have added them to the supernatural playlist 
so hopefully I've made that public. Um, I'll sort that out, make sure it's public for you guys, so that you can go through and recheck um, my thoughts, my ideas about what the cards mean, how I've studied them, how I've taken my time to move through this process. And every time I use this deck, I discover a little bit more. Um, definitely feel as though getting to know the characters is a really, really good way to look at these cards. Now, I know with the minor arcana, we have characters in some car cards and in other cards that are pip, but they all mean something. So we're going to explore that next. In the next video, we'll start to explore some of the minor arcana. Again, another slow journey. doesn't have to be rushed. Um, you can do this with any tarot and oracle deck. This is just my way of working with one of the decks. It's a bit of a sort of a... Um, an idea of what my progress is, a little bit about how I'm exploring the deck. This is my journey with it, and um, whether it resonates with you or not is totally personal. Um, for me, I love to sort of get to know each of the um, major arcana to start with, and now that I've actually gone through and had a look at these cards, had a look at the characters, get to know them a little bit, um, and what the cards mean for me in many ways. Now what I want to start doing is actually taking the cards, shuffling just the major arcana, and I'm going to go through and just go, okay, what do I need to know about today? What do I need to know about today? And I'm just going to choose one card. What do I need to know about today? And I have justice. So justice to me is all about um, maybe the actions of any consequences that I've or any consequences of any action that I've actually taken a little bit about maybe I'm dealing with trying to find a sense of equilibrium or a little bit of balance in my life maybe I need to look at the truth of what's actually going on around me so there's lots of layers to these cards and that's what I love about them as I think about this character and um, the balance that she tried to find between her work and play and other stuff in life and the way that she sort of was out you know and her truth her um honesty about um things that went on around her and or her life in general a good good person and stuff like that so then i want to look at so i put that card to one side for a minute and i'm going to look at what you know what's my yin and yang energy at the moment what do i need to receive what do I need to be accepting of? What do I need to be accepting of? So I need to be accepting in regards to judgment. That's an interesting one. So about awakening within oneself, about one's spirituality. Maybe not being so, um, maybe I need to be with discernment. Maybe I need to um, awaken within oneself. Definitely feel as though there's a, a resurrection and awakening in some way so that's what i need to be accepting of i need to accept maybe what's going on around me what am i needing to do and then the action i need to take is actually look at things from a different perspective look at what i'm actually sacrificing and um, being able to look at things from a different angle could be really really important for me that's the action i need to take so be accepting of judgment action the hanged man for me <coughs> then I could look at okay so I've looked at a card for today I've looked at my yin and yang energy okay so I'm going to look at the week ahead but just as an overview week I'm not looking at each day I just want to look at the over, overview of the whole week what have I got to look forward to what's going to happen what do I need to deal with so the first card is the High Priestess, so maybe to do with my own intuition, maybe about any secrets or things that could be revealed, could be about doing some study for some knowledge. So this is going to take me some strength, some courage, some endurance, some stamina to move through it, maybe feeling a sense of bravery on some level. And let's have a look at where I'm at. And then we've got the sun, so things will work out okay, things will be happy and joyful. I do feel like things will be out into the open. So it could be about dealing with, this could be a week of dealing with my own intuition, dealing with my own magic, my own sorcery. Um, it's going to take me a bit of strength, a bit of um, courage, bravery, a sense of endurance and stamina through it all. But it's all going to be okay The sun with the sun card. It's going to be all good. So here we've got to look at 
my daily card, my yin and yang energy, and then my week, you know, what have I got to look at for the week ahead for myself personally. And those are the sort of things you can do with your um, major arcana. You're looking at just a major arcana at the moment before we start exploring the minor arcana in um, detail. So that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded.